This is MetaQuest Pro. Quest Pro is the first in our new line of advanced headsets, built to expand what's possible in VR. It takes what people love about Quest 2 and adds a bunch of new technologies to help you do more in the metaverse. It's made for collaboration and creativity. It delivers more expression and a deeper feeling of connection than any other technology. With mixed reality built in, it lets you do things that just haven't even been possible before. It's all in a beautiful design that's comfortable to wear. So whether you're looking to work in a new way or if you just want the very best experience that's available today, Quest Pro sets the standard. So to get into the details, let's check in with Angela Chang, who leads our Quest product team. And since this is a big day, let's go somewhere a bit special. This is the new Quest Pro home environment. When you put on your headset for the first time, this is where you'll be. Hey, Angela. Hey, Mark. All right, you finally get to show everyone what was in that briefcase at last year's Connect. Finally, I'm so thrilled we get to bring Quest Pro to everyone. We have completely reimagined the VR headset as a powerful device for productivity, creative work, and multitasking. Quest Pro is our sleekest form factor yet, with a super thin set of lenses at the front and our first ever curved cell battery at the back to give it a perfect balance. Yeah, it feels great from the moment that you put it on. Right. We wanted to ensure a seamless transition from the physical world to the virtual. So our new headset design with this open periphery lets you see the physical room you're in. You can quickly jot down a note, grab something on your desk, or just be aware of what's happening around you. But you can also use Quest Pro's magnetic light blockers for a more immersive experience whenever you like. We've also redesigned the whole optical stack to make it better than anything we've shipped before. The new pancake lenses work by folding light over several times and let us make the display 40% thinner compared to Quest 2. The new lenses aren't just thinner. They also put more pixels in the center, giving you sharper, clearer visuals, which makes reading text a whole lot easier. Yeah, and the LCD displays have 37% more pixels per inch than Quest 2. And thanks to our new local dimming technology, 75% more contrast with richer and more vibrant colors that just make VR even more engaging. This is also our first device to use the new Snapdragon XR2 Plus processor that we worked on with Qualcomm. It's optimized for VR, so Quest Pro runs at 50% more power with better thermal dissipation, which gets a significantly better performance. And this is the first new chip from our deep partnership with Qualcomm. And don't forget, the touch controllers are also new. Yeah, the controllers are now basically their own computers, which is a bit ridiculous. Uh, we've re-engineered them to track themselves and also work a bit more like extensions of your hands. Yeah, the new sensors track their positioning in 3D space all on their own without using the headset, so you can get a full 360-degree range of motion. And they include our new True Touch haptics, which give a wider and more precise range of feedback effects. So when you pick them up, they also feel a lot more balanced and natural in your hands without that LED ring. You can even add a stylus tip on the controllers, turning them into tools for writing or sketching. You can try this on the whiteboard in workrooms, or you just flip them around and write directly against your own physical desk. Yeah, it's a good example of how this device unlocks entirely new things, like much better collaborative and creative virtual meetings. Speaking of meetings, we also thought a lot about how to help you keep the headset charged and ready to go the moment you get an incoming call or just want to get something done. So we're including an all new charging dock that fits great on your workspace and keeps both the headset and controllers charged at the same time. Another key technology for enabling collaborative meetings virtually is mixed reality, where we have to account for both the physical and digital elements in the environment. Yeah, being able to blend the world around you with the virtual world and bring all the creative and expressive power of digital to your physical surroundings, this is a big step forward. Mixed reality is going to power some of the most interesting experiences you can have with Quest Pro. It's the next major step for VR and an important milestone on the path to building the metaverse. 
who began the journey to mixed reality when we released Presence Platform, our family of AI-powered tools that help developers build VR experiences that incorporate the physical world. We built mixed reality into our SDKs for Quest 2 to make it easy for developers to start experimenting. But these experiences are so compelling that you really want a device that's designed from the ground up with them in mind. Absolutely. Quest Pro uses high-resolution cameras that capture four times as many pixels as Quest 2, and an additional RGB camera to turn pass-through into full color, along with a depth system made to understand your environment and work with it. Yeah, you can see the people around you, and with scene understanding and anchoring, objects in your room can become part of the virtual experience. This is going to unlock some really interesting new uses. And this is just the beginning for mixed reality. As more developers explore the capabilities and presence platform, you're going to see entirely new categories of things getting built. Definitely. Another big part of Quest Pro is how much more expressive you can be. You can see here how people's avatars reflect their expressions and reactions. This makes your shared social experiences so much stronger. It's powered by our Movement SDK, our newest addition to Presence Platform. Wait, what are you doing? I'm eating pills. I'm really hungry. Movement SDK enables avatars to mimic expressions in real time using Quest Pro's inward-facing cameras. And this is really important for that feeling of social presence. When we communicate, all our nonverbal expressions and gestures are often even more important than what we say. And the way we connect virtually needs to reflect that too. Just think about all the little things you pick up when you're with other people, like the moment that they begin to break into a smile or when they raise their eyebrow as someone says something interesting. Your avatar should be able to express all of that and more. Today, our avatars rely on spatial audio and immersive graphics to help create a sense of social presence. But facial expressions and body language will be total game changers for remote meetings and virtual performances in the metaverse. This is another reason why Quest Pro is a big step forward for communication, including for work. More people work in distributed teams now, and being able to share a space with your coworkers and feel like you're really together is something that's still missing. We spoke a bit before about how Workrooms on Quest 2 is already unique for virtual meetings. It's going to be even more powerful when people's avatars can show more of their facial expressions and body language. Yeah, one of the challenges for distributed work is how to bring people together to interact in a shared space. If a few people are in a conference room and a few more are dialing in, the experience is just never really that great. So we're building a better way, using everything Quest Pro brings to the table. And we call it Magic Room. It lets you meet in mixed reality and share the same right. space. You can use a whiteboard, bring in 3D objects, Everyone is present and has the same tools, whether they're in full VR or in mixed reality. We think that this will help hybrid teams collaborate, and we're hoping to ship this next year. Now, these are just some of the things that are going to be possible with Quest Pro. This is a high-end device designed for work and for people who want the best experience that we can build today. We're really excited to get this into your hands, and it's available for pre-order starting today for $14.99, and it ships on October 25th.